What's up YouTube, Rudy here, and welcome to Let's Play Master of Orion 2. So, in the previous episode, we have captured a Cylon ship, and now I'm going to bring it back to Primordial to scrap it for their technology. I stand to gain Neutronium Armor, Class 1 Shields, which I don't really need because I'm probably going to get a better shield technology pretty soon, but I could use their computer and uh, Graviton Beams would be pretty nice. Space-time anomaly has ended. A hyperspace beast has appeared. It will randomly destroy ships in hyperspace for an indefinite period of time. Look at that beast, it's like a giant flying space head. Hopefully it does not eat... Oh, the Cylon and Alkari empires are now at war. Hopefully it does not eat my new ship. I wonder... I feel like I should be in an alliance with the Alkari. But they have been very uh, insulting to my people. We are now in an alliance. I think maybe we are just friends with the Alkari. That's the way things are. And we've researched Lightning Field. All right, now we can get class five shields, which will take 10 turns. Now the Silence and Alkari are at peace. Uh, that was a short war. That's strange. It looks like my captured Cylon battleship has disappeared from my scanners. Uh, where did it go? Let's check the turn summary. Uh, hyperspace Beast ate your ship Fighter 1 en route to Primordial. This... This is a disaster. Well, hopefully our own researchers will be able to surpass the Cylon technology. Uh, okay, they're going to do housing. Get them up to speed. Looks like Panuki has finished another colony base, so I'll colonize this other system in here, and I think uh, I'll just build an automated factory and some housing, uh, so the planet can just get up to maximum population as quickly as possible. The hyperspace Beast is going to town on everyone. Doesn't matter what race you are. Doesn't matter anything. It, it just eats and eats. And I upgrade my ship. I can fit more. More weapons. I kind of need to think about taking out the Guardian of Orion. I'm not sure what I need to do that. I can be there in four turns. Oh, when you defeat the Guardian, you get to capture some technology, which could really give me the edge that I need. And I'm probably going to wait until I finish researching, um... Well, they, they can do housing in the meantime, but I'm going to wait till I finish researching shields before I uh, make more ships. And one of my settlers arrived on Ursa, so how are they doing now? They're doing much better. You can go there. Let's buy the supercomputer since I'm here. More colonization. It's gonna do the. They'll be much more useful at maximum population, so I'll just let them do that. Okay. I think I might use Paniki as a pure research colony. Again, you guys can do housing. I'm waiting on those shields before I build more. Nuki. Yeah, they're an abundant planet. I mean, they can go either way. I kind of think I need more research, though. They can do biospheres, though. They're at maximum population right now, but the biospheres will let them fit two additional colonists' population units on the world, which will be nice. The Alkari want to drag us into their war? Well, I mean, we are allies. Uh, I'm not helping you with your war. The Alliance is no more. Maybe next time don't colonize over the dead bones of our fallen comrades. <sighs> okay, battle station. It'll take them forever, but they can do it. Let's see, if I just put a couple on 24 turns, all right, that's acceptable.
Cylon fleet. Only troop transports, but I can't get them because of the colony. Well, I got my shield technology. Perfect. Going to go for heightened intelligence, which gives me plus one research per scientist. Okay, they're done with their housing. So this is a rich planet. Let's uh, outfit our ships with their better shields. Class 5 shields. It's about time I got shields. I'll have to put on less weapons though to, um, to account for the extra space that the shields take up. Let's go to colonies and let's find our industrial colonies and uh, build more ships. Ah, the vengeance. Okay, let's... Uh, we need to redesign that ship. Now it has class 5 shields. Let's throw some more weapons on here. So we can just basically pull a switcheroo here. And the production that was going to the other Vengeance gets transported to this Vengeance, so now it's only two turns still. Very good. And they're doing housing. Okay, you are done with housing. Let's update an Arachnatron. Class 5 shields. Got to lose some weapons, though. Okay. And they're also doing trade goods. We don't need that. Stop farming. You're not farmers. You are builders. Did I redesign the Zubin already? No, I did not. Take off a bunch of those. Yeah. And I'll take an extra laser cannon. Okay. Okay. Perfect. All right, Cylons are attacking again. This will give me the opportunity to capture another ship. So it looks like that green thing is an antimatter torpedo, which I can't shoot down, unfortunately. I'll just have to take it. Does not shoot down easily. Well, I really don't want to destroy the ship. So it is now immobilized. Just have to keep on hitting it with my neutron blasters. I may be losing some ships, but they'll be replaced with the newer models. I just, it's a shame of all the Zargonian crew members that we're losing. I, I mourn for them. Okay, let's board the ship. Capture. Okay, all of our attackers were eliminated because apparently they still have 10 Marines on their ship. Interesting. Out of range. And we lost a mean bean. And they self-destructed, taking out the Arachnatron with it. This is just a brutal war so far. I'm so glad that they seem to have only a couple ships to send at us, though. Well, they can just send their ships at me one at a time. I don't really mind. The humans abstain. Cylons voted for the Alkari, four votes for me, and I vote for myself. Ah, I finished the first Vengeance class, Titan. I'm going to crank out some Mean Beans. Well, I guess I'm going to send my ships at Thrax now. I think uh, if I... I probably want all my ships to rally at Zarkanis. Because then I can. Then it uses my jump gates to travel between my colonies more quickly. Alright, the Beast 8 and Alkari ship. Good for me. Okay, the Trilerians are upset with me. I guess somebody framed me with a spy. I don't know how to stop getting framed like that. It really is only a matter of time before the Trilerians declare war on me, I think, so I better prepare. There seem to be some Trilerian ships prowling around Zarkonis, one frigate. Uh, looks like they have uh, 
two battleships and a cruiser in the system. So here we are on the new colony of Zarkanis. Um, we'll have to buy the fighter garrison. You know, we should really have our defenses up. Zarkanis is pretty much right on the front lines. I mean, I feel like the Trilerians are going to attack there first. Uh, more Trilerian ships. Looks like they have seven battleships. Hmm. Heightened intelligence, plus one research. I think I need to finally get some kind of good computer. So are they declaring war on me? Yes. We are now at war with the Trilerians. Well, in one turn, we will attack them at Zarkonis. I guess I might as well return these ships. It'll take them two turns. Here we go. The Trilerians moved their fleet away. Now there's just a missile base defending the planet. The Vengeance. Vengeance operational. Once those interceptors and missiles get there, it's gonna be all over. And I'm out of missiles on the mean beans. We got them. Just wipe it out. Not even worth capturing, just destroy it. The Trilerians appear to be moving towards Arak now. Uh, since they're, they have the trans-dimensional ability, they can move much faster than normal. Okay, I need to figure out the defense of Arak. Or I can go on the offensive. Oh, they've taken over the uh, human homeworld of Seoul. I wonder if the Cylons are interested in peace. They will not deal? What if I gave you a small gift? I guess they're not interested in peace. We'll have to deal with the Trilinearian threat in the next episode. Thank you for watching, and uh, give me a like and subscribe. Have a good night.